Hey there guys, Luke here with the Outdoor Gear Review. I hope you're all doing well. Today for this episode, we are taking a look at the Arteryx Ultra 65 liter pack. Now this pack is known for two things. One, it is considered to be the best backpacking backpack out there ever made. Two, it is known for being just extremely ungodly expensive. And we might as well touch upon that right now. This pack cost $450. Now think about that, $450 for a backpack. I have to admit, I mean, that is on the upper echelon of cost when it comes to backpacking gear, camping gear, and so on. Now with that being said, I know some people may just turn off this video now and keep on going, but I would say watch the rest of it and check out the features that this pack has because it's very impressive. Now, as I mentioned, $450, yes, that's very, very expensive. It's too expensive for me. Now, when I purchased this pack, I did purchase this pack, I got it for $300. And really, even that's really expensive, even for my taste, but I wanted to get this pack in so, so I could show it to you all. So for those people out there who are very serious about their gear, who don't mind spending top dollar to make that investment, this is a pack that needs to be checked out. It really is. As I mentioned, I paid $300 for this pack and it's brand new. The individual who purchased this had to have foot surgery and to basically pay for that, he had to sell his backpacking gear. So to help him out and to get this in, I went ahead and spent the money. We might as well get started now. So my friends, this is the Ultra 65 pack. There are larger versions of this pack, but all the features are the same. So we might as well just start talking about it here and we'll start right here at the top. You have a top zipper that gives you access to the lid portion of this pack. You have a clip here for your keys. Very good size, by the way. Secondary pocket, again, very good size. Go ahead and disconnect the buckles to open up the lid. And now you're moving down to the main portion of the pack to the body. You have a buckle right here at the top that connects this pocket to the back of the pack so you can control the weight of your gear. You have a snap right here, a zipper, and check this out. It opens up to a secondary pocket that runs the full length of the pack. If you're carrying something that's wet and you need to separate it from the rest of your gear, you can. And that is vital for when you've been out in a rainstorm and your tent is soaking wet, you could store it right here and keep everything else in your pack nice and dry. That is a cool feature. It's a feature that not many other packs have. In a sense, you can almost call that a kangaroo pocket. Down here at the bottom, you also have a drainage hole for that area. You have two buckles that open up a flap right here and you can store more gear inside of that flap up through here if you need to. I haven't seen that before on a pack either. Going to the side here, compression strap, compression strap. You have a zipper that runs the full length of the pack and it goes all the way around. So you can have access to the internals of your pack. Very nice feature, I definitely, I'm a fan of it. No doubt about it. You have some daisy chain right here. You also have that on the other side. So you can rig up anything that you need to. Here on the side, you have a very large size water bottle pocket that actually has a zipper. So you can store your bottles inside of this, unzip them, grab it, throw it back in, zip it up. You have the same features on the other side. Daisy chain side zipper pocket for snacks, food, water, I mean, whatever you want to put in there. We'll go ahead and flip the pack around now. And this is where things become interesting. Now, of course, you have your typical drag handle up here at the top. You have your shoulder harness, your padding, all that good stuff, sternum strap, which is adjustable. You have different clips and rings so you can run different attachments, hoses for your hydration and so on. Load lifters. Going down, you can see here that you have a very thick, very solid foam waist belt. Now, this is really neat. This is one feature that I like on a number of different packs out there. There's not many companies that do this, but look, the waist belt actually pivots with your body, which like I said, I'm a big fan of. Black Diamond does this very, very well, and so does Arteryx with this pack. You have your buckle. Very good quality, very, very solid, very sturdy. 
here on the sides, you do have a strap which connects to the waist belt, so you can tighten this up so you have less pivoting or more pivoting. It's up to you. It should be mentioned here with the lid, this buckles in right here. So if you wanna take this off, you definitely can. Now we're gonna continue on with the interesting features. I have not seen this in a pack before. This is what Arterix calls the grid lock system. So as you can see there, you can take off the shoulder harnesses and you can adjust them. And it, as you can see here, you have plenty of different ways to adjust this. So it fits your torso and so that it's very comfortable. You can get them closer together if your sh shoulders are narrow or you could space them out if they're wider. And check that out. You can see those plugs right there and they just fit inside of these little holes. And then when it comes time to put them back in, you just simply push, apply pressure, and you're good to go. And then line up the Velcro on the back of the pad with the pack. So as you can see there, you can totally fit this pack to really work with your body type. That is very impressive. Now let's go ahead and go to the internals of this pack. You have two draw pulls. Very expandable lid so you can fill this full of gear if you need to. Now as you may be able to see, you have this yellow material on the inside, right? This is where your hydration bladder goes and you access this not from the main portion of the pack, but from this zippered compartment that's beneath the lid. You have a little buckle and strap here so you can snap in your hydration bladder so it doesn't sink. You could slide that in like so, and it goes up right against your back. Then that compartment is Velcroed to the back of the pack so it stays closer to your spine. On the inside of the pack, that's pretty much it. And I'll go ahead and show you that. As you can see right here, my friends. Now, as I mentioned before, I am a big fan of packs that open up like this. It really does make getting out what you need to get out very handy because oftentimes you don't need to, or you don't want to pull out everything that's in your pack to be able to get access to one thing. So my friends, we've taken a look at the Ultra now. And as you can see, there's a lot of reasons why many consider this to be the best backpack ever made. Now, of course, we will begin testing that out and see if that is correct or not. But so far, it definitely has a lot going for it. There's no doubt about that. Now, when it comes to sizes, you can find this in short regular, which this is. There's a regular size and there's also a regular tall. So you need to go to Arteric's website, find out your torso length and get the right pack for you if you decide to get one of these packs. Now with this short regular size pack, this comes in right at five pounds. So if you're gonna go up to the regular size or the regular tall, the weight's gonna go up just a little bit. So at five pounds, it's not a light pack. But I can tell you from my limited use so far, that it is extremely comfortable to wear. Once you have this on, it really fits snug to your body. And also, it seems to breathe very well because you have the large waist belt, which gives you some separation from the pack itself. And then going up from the waist belt, you have these large pieces of foam as part of the shoulder harness. Very comfortable, you could space them out, you can get the breathability that you need, the ventilation. Very comfortable, really fits well against the body. When it comes to the suspension system, on the inside here, you have a very rigid frame sheet. And you also have two aluminum stays, which form for your back. You can bend those if you need to, but they're, they're pre-bent so that they fit most people. So if you get the right torso length, you should be in pretty good shape. When it comes to the materials, there's a lot of them, and I'm not gonna try to go through all of those. I'll just post them on the screen for you now. When it comes to colors, this is what they call burnt orange. And this is the 2014 version. The 2015 version, the colors have changed. The orange is gone. There's a bright red, Diablo red is what they call it. There's also a black, which I believe they called carbon copy. So if you're looking for the burnt orange color, you need to look around on eBay, secondhand, and so on. Good luck. People do not sell these packs very often. With the suspension system, this pack was designed to carry up to 60 pounds. And with a 65 liter pack, you're looking at multiple days, so it does need to be able to carry a significant amount of weight, which this pack can do. So my friends, for our look at the Arteryx Ultra 65 pack, that's pretty much it. Like I said, it is not cheap, 
not in the least bit. But if you're very serious about going the distance with the best gear out there, this, this may be a pack that you want to consider. If you guys have any questions for me, please feel free, drop me a line, let me know. Make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thank you so much for staying with me, even after you heard the price. Strength and honor. Take care.